How do you approach these questions? This is sum or difference? What? This is a sum or difference? Like, is it addition or subtracting? It's addition. Addition. So it's sum. All right. Yeah. Is this square or cube? Cube. Very good. Cube. So that's sum of cube. Do you remember the formula? Do you know the formula of sum of cube? And yeah. Okay. What is it? Can you remind me with it? Like we have sum of cube and difference of cube. Yeah, but it's hard to translate. Okay. But you can Very see this. You can see in this uh, answer the formula. Yes. So the formula. Very good. So this is sum of cubes. So that's what we have. A plus B, remember? Then yeah, if you a square minus, huh? I mean, uh, so two x is uh, just with uh, without cube. Yes, and without the... cube. This a square, a b, b square. It's like this. Here's the formula: a plus b, then a square. Whatever is here should be opposite to here. Minus AB. Minus AB. Plus. Plus B squared. B That's square. It. Yeah. So this is with sum of cube. Now that we're done with word in the context questions, let's move to another skill that we need to master in order to know how to approach questions about the reading skills. All right. So without any further ado, I would like to show you this question and ask you, to try it on your own. Then let's see what you can do. Okay. Uh, Still thinking. I would say D. It is D. Very good. But can you explain to me, please, what makes it D? So it kind of gives an example about like how the architect uh, looks at the site before like actually putting any like buildings down, and Very it kind of talks about how like a per like a lawyer or legislator, I guess. Very um doesn't start by laying down good laws he has to like go into depth like see if people will accept them or not great so i'm happy that you mentioned the word giving example because sometimes examples are confused with the middle sorry with the main idea so sometimes people confuse between examples and main idea examples are not the main idea examples are here or there to explain clarify exemplify illustrate strengthen emphasize yeah. the main idea, but they are not the main idea. Great, great, great. Let's keep moving. How about this one? Where are you based? Uh, Melbourne. Melbourne in Sydney, right? Uh, in Melbourne, not Sydney. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry, in New Zealand. Uh, no, um, Melbourne in Australia. Australia, <laughs> welcome. How about this? This is yeah. some or difference? This is difference. Very good. So in this case, and instead of the plus here, we add minus. And instead of the minus, minus here, we add plus. And that's it. That's all yeah. of it. So in this case, what do you think the answer to question two is? So. Very simply. Yeah. A, a minus B between two parentheses. Then U parentheses would have A squared plus AB plus B squared. I think I've given you the answer. I didn't hear you, I'm just sewing. Oh, sorry. The answer is this one. I yes, didn't sew it yes. yet, I just saw the this one. And, and this, one. this is exactly how you should approach these questions. Good job, Alan, good job. So now, do you understand what I mean by how to approach the question? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted you to learn. The unrealistic expectations. Very good. The unrealistic so. expectations of the American diploma students. Very, very good. But listen here. Remember when we said it's about the main idea? Yeah. And remember when I told you that examples come to support the main idea. They are not the main idea. Yeah. Remember the example of the architect and the legislator? Yeah. The architect's actions were just exemplifying the legislator's actions. All right. 
So it, the text yeah. was not about buildings, it was about laws, right? So yeah. here, the main idea of the paragraph is not the examples in the paragraph. When you first chose A, minor skills are as important as major ones. This is true. And it's even mentioned in the text, but it's not the main idea. Yeah. When you later answered, short time revisions are not effective. This is also true, but this is not the main idea of the text. This is a fact in the text, but it's not the main idea. My question is about the main idea. That's why I always ask you to read the question well in order to determine yeah. where you need to go, what you need to focus on, what you need to find. Do I agree on that? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Now I'm going to do you a favor. You're going to thank me for it. I will keep the text and change the question. Would you please try this one? Yeah. 